hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to make the admin middleware so that we can redirect the user accordingly so when the user logs in he'll be directed to the user page and if the admin has logged in so he will be redirected to the admin dashboard so let us make that so here this is our project and this is our output refresh and okay we had made the login and logout system previously and now we are going to make the middleware so first we need to make a small change in our user table in this database the users and structure you can see we have so many fields so we need to add one column that is role as okay so first let us add it in our migration so go to the database folder migrations here it is okay create table users or you can just expand this section and you can see create users table so in the users table we need to add it here so if you need you can directly copy it from here i'll give this link in the description so just copy this we don't need this comment copy and paste it over here so dollar table of this will be a tiny integer column and the name is role as default value we are going to store zero so let's say we have already migrated this table so let us directly make the changes in the database so here what i'm going to say is add one column after password yeah okay go and i'm going to say role as this will be tiny integer length we don't have to give it so it will directly take as four so as defined default will be zero so click save and it has been altered successfully so next we'll go to the blog and see here php artisan migrate we have already done this so now we are going to create the middleware okay so you can just copy it from here or i'm going to type it out over there so we'll open the terminal and here we are going to say php artisan make colon middleware and we'll say admin middleware hit enter okay middleware created successfully so just close this go to app http middleware and you can see here admin middleware is created over here so we can just close the terminal now and we'll go to the blog here you can see inside the app http admin middleware file we need to add this code okay so i'll just copy and paste then i'll explain you what this code is doing here and inside this handle function we'll remove this thing and paste it okay so here we are doing auth check so if the auth user the role as column of the logged in user is equal to admin or we are going to store 0 and 1 okay so if it is 1 then else it will say home access denied as you are not the admin so if is not logged in at all then it will say please log in first so save this and go to the blog so this is done now in the kernel.php we have to register our admin middleware okay so we'll just close this file here you can see the kernel.php it is inside the app http kernel.php so in this the route middleware okay so it's over here route middleware so just hit enter and here we are going to add that here we need to give the path to our admin middleware file so here we can just write is admin okay and here we'll just see app http middleware and the admin middleware so we'll just copy this path copy and paste so instead of authenticate we need to give our file name that is admin middleware okay save and add this comma over here and then close this kernel.php file rearrange the files and let us go to the blog so here we have added this and now in the login controller to redirect the user to the user page or the admin dashboard so we are there is two methods to do that so we are going to use this method so i'll just copy this and i'll explain you how the code is working so we'll go to the app http controllers auth login controller just comment this out over here 
So I'll just comment this and paste the code over here. Okay. Okay. So we have pasted the code and here you can just import this class auth or it may throw an error later. Save and the difference between these two methods is here directly it will just return and here with the message we are sending. Okay. So this is done and this is how you have to redirect it to the group. Okay. So just copy this and go to the web.php file that will be in your routes web.php and here you can paste it off. So save. So there is a new update in Laravel so you can use it either this way this was the older version and I'll just show you say group group middleware and here instead of the second what we had given in the kernel.php file I'll show you app http kernel.php this thing just copy it from there and paste it over here okay so save and you can directly give this or you can type it out so I'll just copy and paste paste and we'll remove this older one as we'll be using the latest one and here instead of this view we have not created the file so let us just return a string message and check I'll say return this is admin okay so first we had created the column in this database right so first we need to make it as one because on the admin or here so admin will be one other users is going to be default zero so we'll just refresh and login let's say home at gmail.com login So you can see it has redirected me to the dashboard but there is some issue over here but not found. You can see here the message is there in which file we have the error in the middleware admin middleware okay. So auth class is not found. So let us just go and import that app http middleware admin middleware here this auth just right click and give import class. So it has been imported. So now just refresh and you can see this is admin. Okay, so I will just register a normal user and see reload and we'll go to home. I'll log out. So we'll register a new user that will be just a default user, not the admin. So we'll say Sharma Sharma at gmail dot com password. okay and click register okay so it's logged in okay and let me log out and now we'll log in and check if it is going to the admin dashboard or the user dashboard so let us say at gmail dot com and the password say login okay so it has come to the home page and not the dashboard let us try to access the dashboard through the URL say slash dashboard hit enter and it has been redirected and it says access denied as you are not the admin. So we have seen how to make the admin successfully and in this video that's it guys. So please watch out the next videos. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you once again.